Yo, my people, it's Dills and this is Tills. Welcome back to Dills and Tills podcast. How you doing, my people? This is our first ever episode, sponsored by Sound Supreme TV and the Hatch Club. Oh, be, don't say Bosch, yeah? Sure, stop. He's not allowed to say Bosch throughout the whole thing, please. Anyway, as I was saying, this is our first ever episode. We've been trying to do this for about 17 weeks now. No, 17 months. 17 months. You, you, that's not the half of it, bruv. We've been trying to do this since, like, COVID come. Was, do you remember? Yeah, man, we we done it in a club, like. Yeah, we did. What happened to that? It, that's on the computer somewhere. I tell you what happened. We tried a bag of shit as well. That that was awful. I brought my camera from Mal. See if it's one from his. I've started recording my one. He's recording his one, so we can do the the double shot. Thing, yeah, you know what I mean, we've Look. done it now. We're talking for like thirty five minutes. What's happened? It's like yeah, the re- camera stopped recording. It recorded after ten minutes. Fuck you, know. Ah, man. Uh, yeah, let's kick this off. How you been, man? You yeah, man. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm yeah. after you and you. Yeah. It's lovely, bruv. Can't complain, you know what I mean? Yeah. Love him. Do you want to tell the camera how many followers you currently have on TikTok? Well, I mean, it's not, it's not that much, you know what I mean? It's about uh, 62,000, I think, right now. Yeah. Nice. We're going to have a party for when he hits 69K. Yeah. So girls hit us up. 69 party. Yeah, you know what but I mean? My cousin Till's doing his thing as well, coming up. Yeah, I've nearly got 6.9K followers. So when uh, I hit that, then you know something's going on. But yeah, um... What are you not saying, man? Let's 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 throw some stuff in there. So, um, what got you into TikTok, bro? Bruv, when I was um, when I was a kid, I always wanted to just talk. Do you know what I mean? I always wait. Just stop. Can I just say something? When he was a kid, he was fucking ugly. I'm just just saying. <laughs> I wasn't. I actually weren't ugly. I was actually. People used to come up to me, bruv, and say, "You got fucking beautiful. You got beautiful eyelashes, man." They can't even see eyelashes. Yeah, now they can't. Nah, because nah, I got glasses, but. Bruv, do, do you want me to... He's got glasses and he only shags glasses. I know. No, no, no. So when I was a kid, yeah, I used to do, like, YouTube videos in, like, college. Done the YouTube thing. It wasn't really taking off too much, but I, people used to enjoy it, you know what I mean? They used to like it. But COVID come, I had mad ideas in it. Like, I started getting into the public stuff. Everyone yeah. does public Sick stuff. videos, by the way. You lot should check it out on YouTube. Yeah, old ones, throwback. Nah, they're good though, man. If I'll be honest with you, I think Dylan was one of the first people to start doing stuff like that. And then you got all the guys making a fool of themselves in Bromley and Stratford. But <laughs> them, man, they are washed. So let's not even talk about it. Let's not even give them exposure, ain't it? Fucking weirdos. They're creeps, cuz. All of them. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. But anyway. Yeah, man. We started doing that thing. We went into COVID. I remember I, done a, I, done, I went to South Bank in um, Rand Central ways. I'll start asking people if they want to be vegan, things like that. I was being a vegan for 48 hours. Filmed that, posted it. What's happened the next two days? Lockdown. No. You're not going to college, you're not doing this, you're not going doing that. And then was I over for how long? Like a year. And... Let's talk about lockdown though. Bro, I don't want to go back to lockdown. That was, that was lockdown felt like a, a weird series of our life though, no? It's like it, it dragged on forever, but it's like it never happened though. Bro, it was just weird, man. Everything was just, I don't know, man. Yeah. Felt like a blink, and then now look, everything's back to normal. Yeah, that, that's the that's the mad thing. Is it's like it was our life for so long, and now it's like it's got nothing to do with life. You know Literally, I mean? like face mask, hand sanitizing. Like you don't like how it was promoted then. Like everywhere you walk, you need a face mask. You need to wash your hands with sanitizer. Like. I, I ain't gonna lie, yeah. I'm not trying to incriminate myself or anything, but I was one of the few, yeah. I dodged the face mask as much as I could. Bro, bro. It was peak, bro. When I had hay fever, them times, and I. had... Bro, I mean, I had snot falling off on my face. Man. I look like a jock, bro. I look like a crackhead, bro. bro. Especially no haircut, nothing, bro. I know. It was pee. I know you wear contacts, yeah? But I know you got you wear glasses sometimes as well. I wear my glasses full time. I don't wear the contacts. When I had that face mask on my face, yeah. Yeah. glad like that. <laughs> bro, I couldn't even see. Yeah. It was Long. steaming up all the way up. Long. Fuck this, The bro. steaming thing, bro. That that was one of them. Because I used to wear my glasses more in COVID. Because obviously I'm inside, innit? Yeah. So, bro, I'm telling you, you used to steam up. Bro, if you ever opened, like, a dishwasher before and <laughs> you with your glasses on, like, dude, you, you're coming inside. <laughs> Literally, guys, it's long. It's long. But, yeah, man, let's talk about um some relationship stuff, man. Uh, you got a girlfriend at the moment? Nah, I ain't got a girlfriend. I'm... L- l- listen, love, I'm I'm in a weird place with that. I don't, I don't know what I think about love and what love is, you know what I'm saying? I, when I was a kid, yeah, I was a proper certified lover boy, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. But now, I think life puts you in a certain direction and it kind of changes you as a person. Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever be fully in love. I, I don't actually see it. But maybe one decent woman will change my mind. But how about you, man? I'm yet to see myself. Um, With love, it's just relationships. Let's, let's not even get onto the topic of love. I've never been in a relationship before, I'll be honest with you. 
you know that yourself. You stuck with me for how long? And um, yeah, like I've just never been able to to hold it down personally myself. I don't know if I'm scared of commitment or I just I'm just not ready. It's just like um, I've never actually met a girl that I've never actually met a girl that has been for me. And if I have met a girl that is for me, she isn't really for me because she didn't want me. But that's not in a way where it's 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 a growing curve, isn't it? It's weird. See, that's the thing there, yeah. I always want what I can't have. Me as well. Bro, I've had, I've had girls in my life that in the beginning, they didn't want me one bit and I was running after them. The minute they show me that they want me and I've met out with them, I just, I lose the interest. They want him, look at him, lad. <laughs> <laughs> about, yeah, but listen, bro, I, I've had it in life, yeah, in school, in like secondary school, I didn't get girl, I didn't get girl like that, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't yeah, get girl. Bro, don't worry, me too, man. Come, come into that year 11, year 12, year 13, it started picking up a bit. But when I was in when I was in year eleven, I was that mildly fat. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. I mean, nothing's changed for both of us. <laughs> year twelve, though, you remember, ain't it? I lost weight. Yeah, you lost bare weight. You lost fair. bare weight in the end of year twelve. I don't know what happened now. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you look good. You look good. When th- this is the thing, I'm gonna come back to you. Yeah, I don't look good. That not for myself. Do you know what I'm saying? But when I was in year twelve, I looked good. Girls started to show me a bit more attention than I ever had yeah, in my yeah, life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bam, gained weight. Of after the last couple of years, COVID and that things like that, and I'm probably back to that weight I was before I lost weight now. But now I still kind of get the same amount of attention I was getting when I look good. But that's for one thing, and I'm gonna tell you this now: if you want to get a bit of panani in life, this is the truth. Now you have to have one of the two things: you either have to look physically good, or you got to carry yourself as the bollocks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, hundred percent. And I agree with you to a certain. A certain, mm, I don't know, not, man. Not, you can carry yourself as the bollocks and look stupid, though. That's the thing. Yeah, no, of course. You, you have got, to, you got to show it. You got to have something yeah. to show it as well. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I am definitely the. Well, I, I think I'm the bollocks in it. That's I'm, good. That's the, that's self love in a yeah, way. Do you understand definitely. what I'm saying? So someone might look at me and think, well, he ain't the bollocks, but to me, I'm the bollocks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, of course. So cool. So let's talk about your first ever girlfriend, maybe. Aye. Uh, if you've had one, have you had a girlfriend? Yeah, I've had a, I've had a, a girlfriend. I'll, you know what I'll take from that? The lessons. Because before I had a girlfriend, I wanted a girlfriend so bad. Like I said, I was a certified lover boy. I always wanted someone to put a bit of love and care into me. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? No, I know what you're saying. Because I grew up in a in a life where like a bit of tough love, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you, t- when you get tough love all your life, especially as a kid, you think that like, it's about time someone loved me, loved me. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. But as you get older, and you, you're in the situation, and I've grown up now, I look back at it and I'm like, I don't actually ever want to be in that situation. I don't care about being loved. Yeah. I don't care what people... I didn't value myself then, innit? Yeah, so like, you, you would you would rather people show you love than you show love yourself. And exactly. Now you love yourself to a degree, it's like... I don't need it. I don't need anyone else. Exactly. Yeah, no, I, I respect that. Yeah, but that's not to say... I like, I wish... I wish I could find this perfect woman and... I, I, bro, if I find a perfect woman on uh, ticks every list, I'd start a family in the next six months. I'll have kids. I want to have kids young. I don't want to be an old dad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't but, know if I agree with that, to be honest. With you. But I know it's not going to happen. I won't find that. You know what I understand. Good girls are hard to find. Definitely. And that's the truth, you know? Definitely, man. I mean, we're stuck in an era where love is, love is a weird one. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. See, I feel like I've got a lot, I've got a lot of love to give. Mm. I don't think anyone can match that and and women would call me possessive they would call me a narcissist because of the way I act but I just feel like if I love you you're mine I'm yours we work in a certain way and I just haven't been able to find to find that see um, I'm I'm like that myself and that's why I think I think it's hard it's going to be hard for me to find a woman I can fully connect with because well they're going to think I'm a narcissist but if a woman thinks I'm a narcissist or I'm over too overprotective then you, you would never have the right woman for me anyway, you know 100%, 100%. So, as you get older, like, when you're a kid, if you get on with someone, you can have a laugh and you're attracted to them. That's good enough to be a girlfriend. But as you get older, all these factors come in and make it harder for you to have a girlfriend. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you got the factor of, like, do they like go, do they like cl- going to a club, clubbing every weekend? Now, I've been and done that. I don't really, I'm not really a clubber anymore, you know what I'm saying? I don't even mm. drink. I think I've been drunk twice this year. Yeah. So, I'm one of them people. I want you to match my energy in life. I'm not on that page, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're not gonna fuck anyone about. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm not trying to 
going backwards. I'm I'm on this kind of lifestyle now. Why, why am I gonna? I'm gonna have a girlfriend that's on my lifestyle a year and a half ago. Don't make sense. No, don't, don't know. It's backtracking. Yeah, exactly. Backtracking for you, you know, hundred percent. And then these girls that go clubbing and this and that, bruv, they bring you trouble. Listen, if someone wants to have a problem with me, there's nothing I can do. I have to deal with it physically. Physically, do you know what I'm saying? I rather wouldn't be in a problem with someone, but. When the situation's there, you have to apply yourself into the situation. Bro, if I'll be honest with you, sorry to cut you off, with what you're saying with the clubbing type of thing, I've been in a situation, I'd even say recently, with with type of women that are so on the party life. See, me personally, I work in the clubbing industry. I've been doing it since I'm, I was 18. I'm 22 now. I don't want to play around with a girl that wants to go out every weekend, get drunk all the time, and that's just not me. And, like, any girl that goes out and gets drunk, good on you. Like, do your thing, man. Your your life, your free life. Do, do what you want to do. But you see, me personally, I'm not on that. And if you're my person, I can't appreciate you doing that all the time. Yeah. Like, we're grown now. And, and the goal is is to be is to be well for you. I don't, like, I don't know if you understand it, but all this youth that we got right now, it doesn't last forever. So we need to make the best out of it. Right now, people's priorities, and I don't expect everyone's priority to be like this, but our priorities should be Let's make some money now. Let's work hard now. And then in the next six, seven years, we can live comfy after. Exactly. We can live comfy. That's the problem in our whole generation as a whole. They think they're going to live life, go on five holidays a year, splash hundreds of pounds in these nightclubs, yeah? And then what? You got nothing in your pocket at the end of the month. Do that min- minimal. Do it, but do it minimally. If you go on one or two holidays a year, two is a stretch. Go on one holiday yeah, a year man. if you can. But don't even go on a holiday every year. If you can't afford it, yeah. don't do it. If you can't buy it four or five times, don't buy it. Stop. It's ridiculous. And look, who are you trying to impress? You're trying to impress someone that does not give a shit about you. You want you want to impress people that don't care. And the people that you think, oh yeah. They like that. They, they, they're fucking idiots themselves. Yeah. I'm not impressed by the fact that you're you're wearing... Look, I drive past people all the time, bruv. And I drive past kids in trap star jackets. And when I mean kids, I mean people my age. They're wearing trap star jackets, but they are waiting for the bus. Your priorities are all wrong. It's ridiculous. You're wearing the latest Jordans and you are waiting for the bus. You look like a Muppet. I hope you know that. It's ridiculous. Stop. Please. But you know what? It's your life. Do what you want to do. You're not fooling anyone. Maybe your snap might look good. You might have a lot of followers on Instagram, on TikTok. You still look like a prick. See, what I want in the next years to come, I want to have a family. When I find the right person, I want to have a family. I don't want my family to have a struggle. I don't want my children. I don't want to bring children into a world where I've got to rely on my mum and dad to help me with that. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to have my own property and my own house. 100%. So Stability, isn't it? Exactly. Mm. Working towards that now, I don't even have... A, a woman I think is going to be the mother of my children. 100%. But that will come one day. And I want to be ready for that day. Do you know what I'm 100%. saying? 100%. You don't want... Look, what you don't want to end up doing is finding her, then having to work hard. Right now, it's time to work hard. So when it comes, you're ready for it. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? I think, yeah, being in... Like, me growing up, my dad's been young. My dad had me when he was, I think, 21, 22. And growing up with a young dad, it's lovely. But... Me being, I don't, look, I'm 22. My dad already had two kids by 22. I couldn't do it personally. I, I just, I'm just not in the stability process. I, it's just not for me. I just couldn't do it right now. But if I did meet a girl, I would like to have kids. I'd say late 20s. See, that, 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 that's probably the minimum for me. And I'll be honest with you. I think our dad's generation were better men than we are now. Yeah, no, 100%. Because look what you just said. Your dad had two kids at the age of 22. Yeah, and he and he had a family like you had a family. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my dad, my dad bought my dad bought a house in Dagenham when he was eighteen years old. He was he was he grew up in Southwark, Bermondsey. Yeah, he's bought his own house at the age of eighteen. Who who do you know these days? No one. And people say, oh, but the house prices are going crazy now. Nah, but you, they're just putting excuses. You, you calculate it now, nah, yeah. From You're a, just not working on. Yeah, it. that's a, the thing. A kid from a council estate that grew up with nothing. Poor family. No one in his family's got a pot to piss in. Well, you just hard work. You don't. You don't think what, what one woman and one man from two people from cancer estates could do that? You can't do it. Yeah. What's your excuse now? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just. Yeah. 
Just we're lazy, oh, shit. everyone. Yeah, 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 it's, that's that is the truth. And I'm trying harder than majority, and I'm still lazy. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, at least you know you can you can work better. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? 100%. And that's the thing. That's what people don't understand. But yeah, let's let's get onto another topic, man. So like, well, <laughs> what do you want to go? On? Something funny? I got something funny, well, man. Man, all right, cool. You might be a bit thrown off by this next question, but how old was you when you started? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, listen, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I was young, man. I hope my mum ain't watching. <laughs> Bro, this is what I'm saying. I feel I just fucked up. Bro. It's cool. It's honest, isn't it? Honest. Bruv, it sounds mad. I was about 10, 11 years old, I think, man. Oh, bit, I, I a bit young, that is man. bad, isn't it? That's what bad. Primary school and that. That end of year six, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's mate. bad, isn't it? Your poor Rod, man. Yeah. Bro, you know them you know them notifications? Are, are you above the age of 21? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm dude? 10, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? You know. <laughs> Man, all right, well, what was your go-to website? What, 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 when I was, was your thing? When I was 10, I found fqq.com. Yeah. <laughs> to this day, not gonna lie, someone put me on with that like two years ago. It was Joe. Shout out Joe, it's man. It's like the encyclopedia of, of that content. That like, is, you got videos that come from every website. Listen, I know too much about this. Bro, like, you know like Pornhub is like traders, like four, four to seven minute videos. This thing has hour and a half long video. Oh, everything, every cut. I'll be promoting them for the man. Yeah, That's they ain't giving me anything. Yeah, yeah. Forget Fuck you, man. <laughs> what about you, bro? How old was you when you started knocking bro, out the, the sailors? I still remember. Bro, I remember the first day I ever thought, this is fucked up, man. But yeah, I was I was in uh, year eight. Yeah? I, I know I was younger, but I still don't sound good. No, nah, but I was in year eight, and I remember. I used to watch the in-betweeners, and I remember they always used to talk about it and stuff like doing it and I, I always try to but I never went hard enough bro like so one day I remember I'm sitting there I'm playing FIFA and I've just like out of nowhere I've just got a, like a rock hard cock like, and I'm just standing I'm just laying on my bed and I thought you know what let me just go like really fast bro and I ended up just going dosh, 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 dosh. brother it was like a volcano times 10 and I remember I had to pause the match again like I, I'm playing online this is this is um FIFA, FIFA 13, all on the team. Oh, the best days. But yeah, brother, I pulls the game and it's just exploded everywhere. And I thought, fuck, this feeling is crazy, man. And like, you know, I tried to carry on going off. They come out, I was like, ah, oh. like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I don't know if it was just me, yeah. But listen, I told you I started bashing at like 10, yeah. But that didn't happen for like two years. You know? I, was, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just going like this. I wasn't even bashing. I was just squeezing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bro, do you know what as well? I used to, I used to have a Blackberry back then. And I remember I used to go on my BlackBerry, yeah, and like I used to go like www.pornhub.com, yeah, and I used to click like the first fake taxi video I saw. Shout out to fake taxi, bro. You have been there for me when no one else has. But listen to what I'm saying, bro. I remember I would go on it, and as I press into the video, because you know, like on iPhone, you can just mute or you can turn the volume down on the screen. With a BlackBerry, you can't. So imagine when I've gone on it, yeah, I'm tapping that button to go volume all the way down because, bruv. My little brother sleeping in the corner of the room. Like these, these are times like the, the walls are thin and the room, the, the house is small, cause you understand what I'm saying. So like, yeah, I, I remember turning the volume down as soon as I hit. And I remember one time I went into the bathroom, yeah. And I remember as soon as I went in, I clicked into another video. But you know, at the start of the video, sometimes it's like, ah, 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 ah. like fam, it's not going down, bro. And I remember I styled it up by trying to play a song after, so like everyone in the house could hear that I was playing music, bro. Paranoia. Reminds me, you know, you know, in class in school, you do a fart. I used to fart a lot in it, but sometimes I do a fart, you know, guys. You know, after you fart, st yeah, you style it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but bruv, listen on the BlackBerry thing, yeah. I used to watch shit on my BlackBerry, yeah. Bruv, one time, shout out to Buddy on BlackBerry as well. We miss you. Bangers, man. I was chilling. Me and my dad's close, innit? Like, we always got on. Well, wait, how close? <laughs> <laughs> My dad would like walk into my room or chat in it. Like we're 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 good. Like to this day, like we're still close. We have good chats. Nice. Anyway, I was about probably like end of year six, year seven maybe. I was on my BlackBerry, and I fancied this girl off EastEnders called Alice. Yeah. Anyway, on my BlackBerry, and I've just I thought you could type in anything. It comes up in it. I've typed in Alice naked. Al oh, is it? Alice <laughs> naked photos <laughs> EastEnders <laughs> or or tits us Alice's tits. Yeah, Stenders, bro. Yeah? Anyway, I heard my dad walk in, yeah? I chucked my phone in it. And then he's, I'm just like this. <laughs> I'm just chilling like this. And he's walked in, he's like, D, why are you sitting like that, man? I'm like, 
like, oh, what? He's like, <laughs> they're just sitting, like, staring in the air. And he was, I was like, oh, I'm just, just chilling with it. And he was like, where's your phone? You're not on your phone or anything? And I was like, well, I don't know where my phone is. And he's seen it, just dashed it in the corner. And he's like, it's on the floor. <laughs> and then he's got, I had this from EastEnders. Okay. And then he's like, that must have been like, hella awkward, though, isn't it? He was downstairs, you after. I was like, that, man. <laughs> I was thinking, you want to come and eat dinner, but you would have been awkward, didn't it? I thinking, is he going to tell my mum? Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck you, no, man. Bruv, Alice, I'm not going to lie. This is the problem with me. I have been sexual from too young, innit? Yeah. Like, I, I think it's the Turkish in us, though, cuz. I used to oh, see, you know, EastEnders has always been my admirable show, innit? I used to fancy Stacey from EastEnders at like five years old. She's a fucking dog now. Oh, yeah. God. I used to want to marry <laughs> Sorry, I had to bro. <laughs> I used to fancy the socks off of Stacey fam. It was, it was bad. I used to like them sisters, uh, Roxy and Ronnie, bro. Yeah, I used to like baddies. Baddies, oh. Yeah. I'm not into like blonde Mad. girls now, but sorry. I know I just let a whole load of girls down, but I'm not into blonde girls anymore. <laughs> Carry on. EastEnders, man. EastEnders is one of the things. I don't care what you say, yeah. Like when I was in secondary school. I've been open in it. I like EastEnders. Man, then will be like, oh, I don't watch EastEnders, but you know everything about EastEnders, you know what I'm saying? EastEnders, I don't care what you say, is a big, big part of everyone in British culture, man. Yeah, I grew up watching it till yeah. about 12 and then, nah, it stops. I'm sick of it. Oh, I'm still watching it, man. <laughs> I, like. I had no choice. I think that was the only way I got to stay up after 8 o'clock because my mum and dad would be watching it. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, please, I want to watch EastEnders. I really just wanted to stay up later. You know what I hate? You know, them people there, yeah, like your family members, they don't watch EastEnders all year round. And then Christmas Day, yeah, listen, if you're related to me and you come round on Christmas Day, do not, yeah, ask me questions about EastEnders. Why is he doing it? What, yeah, what, what, no, no, no. Why is Phil, why is Phil chasing me? Shut up, man. <laughs> Shut up. You don't give a shit about my show. So don't ask dumb questions because I'm, I don't want to listen to you, bruv. Let me enjoy it. And if you want to watch it, watch it. You know what we've got these days? We've got Google. If you got questions, ask Google, bruv. Sorry, that's my rant done, innit? All these fake EastEnders fans. Dills, who do you say your favourite rapper is? I'm one better rapper. UK, let's do UK. What I, I like? You know what? You know what? Shade Barrel posted something the other day and you sent it to me. You weren't very happy with the list. Yes. It was in top five? Top five UK rappers. Top like five. I, I even made a TikTok ranting about this. Shade Bar, if you see this, you're very wrong for this. They put top five UK rappers... Central C. Look, <laughs> shit. No, I, I like, no, no, don't. I don't like, I don't care. I don't like Central C. I think C. Central C's cold. I might, like him. You might be a nice guy, but I don't like your music. He's like a decent guy, I don't like him. How can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. What a line. What an amazing line. The numbers don't lie, though. Not yeah. Well, we've got a lot, we've got a lot of idiots in the world, innit? But Central C, Dave, I agree, Dave can be top five. Very nice. Nines, Nines top five. Nines is nice. J Huss, yeah. Do you know what? Jay Huss has just got that status where, you know, from young, I'm talking like the 50 yeah. day album, mixtape, sorry. Before that, bro, I'm talking like when I was young and I was sitting on a bus linking gag with my earphones trying to make it sound fucking right. Jay Huss, man, the guy. Jay Huss can sit there. And who was the last one? Um, who was the last one? Jay Huss. Fredo. 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 Listen, I think Fredo's good. I like Fredo. But in a top five circumstance, Fredo maybe can be there, but Central C definitely definitely ain't there, man. He ain't a weird one, innit? He ain't got the the what's it called? The the whole thing. What what's what's the word? The Don't worry, what's the word? Yara kafa, that's what it is. No, not not even that. You know like the cat the catalogue. Central C ain't got the sort of thing, that's the word. Yeah, no no no, he ain't got the catalogue. You can't go back five years and be like, listen to how Central C is. Do you know what I'm saying? That's not Central C is so that these things so that different. Yeah. He's not in that position. But yeah. There's a, but you know what? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, as I appreciate rap, good good music. Yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying because I I think that I think that his numbers are doing a like, bro. If you look at the guy's insights, man's getting like 1.5 million fucking likes per 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 pick, yeah, bro. Americans love him. And he's on that. He's branched out there. He's on that one freshman, of madness. That yeah. Freshman free. Yeah. Who did he just sign to? Ro Ro Rockefeller or something? He just done a. Yeah, he just done something like that, isn't it? Yeah. 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 He's the guy right now. I. I, re I, res 
I respect him. But another, no, let me shout out another rapper though. I like Clavish, man. I've been listening to Clavish for a bit now. I actually, I, I like his music. I think he should be in the list of Central C's, it? Listen, number one, he didn't make the list stupidly. I don't know how you can't put him in the list when he's... There's a, there, there's one rapper missing, or Dylan Bridge. Do you, um... If you Porter Paper ain't on your top five, let alone your top two... Top three, mate. Let alone your top one, then you're ridiculous. I can't take your, I can't take your opinion seriously. Bruv, yeah, Porter ain't ever made a song that's a, that's a, like a, oh, we're going to jam to this, like, vibe, like, party music, yeah? But people still, people still chase his music. People still love his music. Paul makes me want to sell drugs and kill people, bro. No, I wouldn't say that. Not in a bad way, but, like, I want to be that guy, man. You can relate to it. No, 100%. Do you, do you know one thing about Paul? I, I ain't ever sold, I ain't ever sold drugs. I ain't ever been a bad, bad man. Uh not makes me feel I want to do it, but I feel him. I I can. I feel that, and I can, I can relate to his rawness. Not what he's talking about, but I can relate to the rawness. I can tell he's being real. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the difference. When he's talking, you know, one thing I like about Potter, if you if you're from certain areas, you understand his music in another level. There's one song, long time from Training Day One, yeah. He's like, "Can any crack?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He has these these bars, yeah, and he's like, "Up and down King Edwards, Robin Hood, Randas," and it's like, if you if you don't know certain areas, you won't actually. You just think he's rhyming things together, but he's listed you every pub that he was shot in in the toilet. So, do you know what I'm saying? And you know that because you obviously live near that yeah. area, so you, you know it. Yeah, no, it makes sense. As a kid, you go past these pubs, like some of them shut down or some of them not there anymore, but you, you know the areas, innit? Right around, he's talking about the pubs in Dagnum where he used to shot and this and that. And you have like, you feel like you know him, but you don't know him, even though you've met him and worked with him. Yeah, yeah. And things. Like you, but you, you before I that, met him, yeah, I, I, I felt, felt like, like you knew him. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. That's, that's the same for me, like with uh, DBE, for example. Yeah. Like D D B growing up in the same area that I grew up in, it's like when they rap about certain bars, like they talk about Louis Way, Louis Sherm, what what other, they talk about a lot of events. D, what's that road down there? Down there, just down there. They rapped in one of their bars. Um You know where the petrol station is? Or your dad at a crash. <laughs> down there, Tesco Express. What's that road there? No, but it's like Lewisham where the petrol station is down there. Going as well, but yeah, like they talk about bars of basically places like that we grew up in. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like it, 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 it hits different. Do you understand? What I'm saying? Especially like when I've, I've I met their man as well. When it, I've, I've been at their music videos before. Shout out to my uncle Coleon, free him every time. But um, what I'm basically saying, like, it, it, it hits home certain rappers and and certain even like people like actors, for example. Like, what's that kid from Snowfall? What, what's his name? I forgot he's Damson, Damson, some uh, whatever his name is, wicked actor, main main character for Snowfall. Snowfall's blowing up. He's done his thing. He's from Peckham, bro. Yeah, man's from the ends, and look at him now, bro. It's crazy. When when you can see someone that's grown up in an area like yours or come from a background like yours, it does that. It takes that extra mile into people having an interest in you. Yeah, because you might be the first as well. Like like we're Turkey Super, yeah. You don't really have. Mega stars in the world that are Turkish separate. Not yet. Hopefully things change. But I grew up here. All my all my black friends, they got Jamaican guys, African guys, this, this, that. They they, they got people that are from their, their countries and rep their, their countries. Country, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Rep their culture. Yeah. Well, I got like Irish friends and Irish lot do this and they, they got Conor McGregor and stuff. Like exactly. it's certain type of things. Especially like I was speaking to D not too long ago as well. When me and D was speaking, he was saying like growing up back in the day, if you was African, you would say you're Jamaican because yeah. being African wasn't cool before. Bro, I, there's, there's not a look. People listen, still used to do that yeah, when people, I was growing When I was growing But he, even like, I remember D was saying like, um, now there's actually African influencers. People are proud to be African, which you should always be proud to be where you're from, man. Wherever you're from, you should always be proud. Definitely. But now, especially like with Afrobeats taking over the world, it's, it's, it's it feels, it gives them more pride in what, where they're from. You understand? That's what I love, yeah. Like, I do TikTok, like we've spoken about. 
That's what I love about doing TikTok because that's given me the platform now to become that guy that the younger generation, younger than me, maybe secondary school kids, yeah, they've got someone to watch and then they're like, he's from he's from my island. And he's from my village. And our island is already small as well, yeah. man. So like, I always wanted that. Yeah, make it something from, from where you're from and, and repping it as well because there's certain eyes, for example, like, I'm not putting B Young down or anything. I respect him. I think his music's decent. But for someone like him, he he doesn't he doesn't show off his Turkish Cypriot side. Like, see me if I was ever in a position to help the island, and I know you would as well. You would rep it like it's until you die. Do you understand what I'm right. saying? That that's the thing about majority of people from where we're from. We we are so into our background and culture. Like we're proud. Like, bruv, I got got a Muna star there, Cyprus there, another Muna star there. Do you know what I'm saying? And you got Michael Jackson. I got Michael Jackson there. That's a different. That's a different <laughs> story. But. From young, I used to, I used to wear a Turkish necklace. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we've always been proud of where we're from. So to have them people there, that, that represent you and talk about where you're from, it's amazing. See, like people like that, like be young. You look at him and you think, bruv, you've hit it big. Like you got the number one song on the radio. Just drop, just drop a little line. Just say. Oh yeah, just when I was growing up as a Turkish Cypriot in Hackney or this and that, just say it. Just say it in a song. That's it. Do it. Just, just that's drop it. a little line. Just, just say in it. an interview or something. It's so hard. Do you know what I'm saying? No, I, I don't. You don't need to do that because we're finna do that. But we're saying, you know, it'd be nice if, I if, did, you, if you show some love to your people. Do you know what I'm saying? When when we went to do my five pound munch with with ads on TikTok, shout out ads, shout out ads. Um, I made sure before I did it, I knew I've seen his other videos. He, he says. Hello, mate. Like, introduce yourself. When I introduced myself, I said, "What's going on, people? We're still on Turkish Cypriot Top G." I make sure I'm. You know, forget me. Yeah, I'm. I'm just a. I'm just a physical body. I am telling you, I could be anyone, but I am telling you, I'm before anything. I'm Turkish Cypriot, and, yeah. and that's that. I'm repping it straight. You know, straight away. Eh, all the Turkish Cypriots that watched it, this is a Turkish Cypriot. We're doing this thing, and. This this kid that he's posted him on his page got a million followers. This Turkish super up where is as a video on someone with a million followers page, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That comes before everything. Hundred percent. Um, touching on what's the month? We're in July, right? No, we're in June right June, now. Heading to July. So June is the month of uh, men's mental health, isn't it? Yeah. Anything to say about that? How do you feel about that? My opinion on mental health, a lot of people they're not gonna like what I have to say. Listen. We've got the same 24 hours in a day. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you now, yeah? This is what I really think and believe. I'm going to have to sit up for this still. Fucking hell. When I, when I tell you, yeah, we're all going to go through loss in life. We're all going to go through loss. We're all going to go through heartbreak. We're all going to go through every single thing. I might have it at 15 years old. You might have it at 45. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm going to lose someone I really love one day and I dread that day. You you might have lost it before me. You might have lost it after me. But listen, we all gotta keep it stepping, man. Cause, well, like he said, basically, the time it don't it don't stop for no one. And you gotta think of the whole picture of people in the world that that are relying on you. We all rely on each other. Do you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's. It, I don't agree with people saying it's okay to be depressed. There's nothing okay about being depressed. If you're depressed, you need to deal with this. It might, no matter how long it takes, you need to deal with that problem because that is a problem. That's not something that needs to be encouraged. We need to encourage stopping that, do you know what I'm saying? And I think the media today, they're like, yeah, have some pills or feel sorry for yourself a bit more. No one feels sorry for me. No one's ever felt sorry for me. And maybe that's coming from me, coming from like a a, a strict, harsh background where like my mum told me growing up, like, I don't feel sorry for you. Why are you feeling sorry for yourself? And I used to feel sorry for myself. Till I hit a certain age, I'm like, I don't fucking feel sorry for myself anymore now. No one else gives a shit. So why am I sitting around moping about, why don't I fucking crack on and do something? But hey, you, you people might watch it and say, well, it's just a bit blunt. You don't know how this feels and that feels. Bruv, I don't know how it feels and I probably don't care. And no one else is going to care. So take that knowledge that no one's going to care. And... Take that knowledge that no one's going to care and do your thing and make yourself look good in life. Make yourself something special. Stop moaning. That's that's my view, man. How about you? I think that's a nice take on, on things because, like, if you're watching this, 
I do want to let you know that things do get better. Mm. Things can be hard. Look, we all go through struggles, man. And look, I feel your pain. I've been through a lot of things in my life that I have overcome. I've been in some dark holes, man. And I know you probably have as well. And people don't understand what you've been through. And that's okay. You don't need people to understand. It's now time for you to take that. Use it as fuel. If things will be okay, man, just take it easy. Definitely. Take it easy and work hard. Don't get caught up, man. Social media is a big lie. Everything's just a load of rubbish. Just work hard. Give love. I love yours. Just keep it stepping, man. That's how, that's how I've always been. I just think you need to keep going. That's it, yeah. You know, one thing you said social media is a big lie. It is a big lie. And I'll tell you something, yeah. Women, women think I'm sexist sometimes. I swear to God I'm not sexist. I value a woman more than I value a man. I would more chance kill for a woman than I would kill for a man. Man can handle himself. But for my mum or my sister or my daughters one day or my wife one day, I'll do anything for her. So I'm not sick. Don't tell me I'm sexist ever. But anyway, listen, I forgot the point I was going to make that. What was I talking about? Talking about there was this rabbit having sex with a dog. Oh, okay. I remember now. I thought you were talking about what we was talking about before. Social media. A lot of women think they got to look a certain way. And they and I, I started hearing shit like they're getting depressed about it because they don't have a big ass or big tits or their big lip, whatever. Do you know what? I'll be real. Them look there, they look like slappers and they look dumb. So stop, I don't care. Stop getting emotional, you don't look like them. And he you, said it, not me. Yeah, I did say it. Don't don't think no man's gonna not, not, not gonna love I you. I love you. Yeah, I, I don't care. You go on, man. What's my place? If these look, look like slappers, they look dumb. I love you. Don't, don't fucking think I don't look good enough and start getting depressed about it. No man wants to marry a woman that's overly sexy. Like, I do. Not, not someone, not a woman that everyone sees in it. Their body out and everything, man. I, f I fuck that, man. I don't, I don't want to slap a wife. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fair enough, man. That's what he wants. So if you're a slapper, I'll make sure you slap it on him. Well, yeah, I, I'm just a bit. I'm maybe I'm a bit rude, isn't it? But no, you're straight up, and that, that's your point of view. And if I'll be honest with you, like coming to all seriousness. I, I I I do agree with what you're saying to a certain extent, and um, I mean, women need to carry themselves better these days, but so do men. So don't take that in a wrong yeah, way. Yeah. We all need to start working. Both, in both it works both, both ways. Both sides are you know smiling right now. Men are acting like women. And women are in society. Like... In society, you know yeah. that's okay now. Okay, okay but... but but they want that. The 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 wider world, the people that run things, they want they want weak men and women that think they're strong. Because a lot of these women that think they're strong, they're not strong women. There are many strong women in the world. Like, my mother is a strong woman, do you know what I'm saying? But she don't go on about these women who think they're strong. There's a difference. When women... Action. Yeah, when women think they're stronger than men and men and men are weak, that's when society can make sure they do everything they want to ru rule your life, do you know what I'm saying? Unless, um, yeah, that's it. But, you know, like I said before, do you... Forget what anyone else says. Dylan started his TikTok account about a year and a bit ago now. Yeah. And he started off with zero followers, just like you did on whatever you did. And now he's doing well. And he's only he's not even halfway there yet. So if you needed someone to be inspired by, have a look. I, I wouldn't say I'm an inspiration by any means. And wait, you don't have to be a role model. No, no. Accept that as well. Because even though what you are doing is good. What, what, I have to say, what I'll say... Don't take me as your role model, but take me as a person that I'm your average Joe. What I can do, you can do. I'm no one special. I mean, I think I'm someone special, but that's the mentality you need to have. You're someone special. So Not specially retarded, but you're, you're just special. <laughs> like, like Till said, I started about a year, not, a year and a bit ago. I had zero followers. I did it now and again for about six months and I stopped. I gained about a thousand followers, which to me was all right. Thousands a lot. It's a thousand people. Anyway, I stopped got a bit consistent, started talking about better topics and things like that. Within my first month, I think I had 10,000 followers. So I gained 9,000 followers. I've been doing it since last April. So a year and two months. Now I'm on 62, 63,000, something like that. So if I can do that, starting from nothing. No one ever supported me, by the way. You know, when I was doing my YouTube stuff back then, few people, like, they did used to support me and they, they'd say, oh, it's really good. And they'd share it on their story. But you know certain people you love so much, 
and you think it shouldn't. You know when I, you know when someone you shouldn't even have to ask them. Nah, it's just that like, they should think I love this person so much. I'm sharing. Just do it away. But that, that someone done that for me the other day when I posted a clip of my podcast. Couple people just posted it without me yeah. saying anything. Like my first cousin posted it, and he just put shout out my cousins. Like I appreciate people like that. Did it as well, not gonna lie. Yeah, you, you're, you, of course you do. You do it all the time for me. But that's how we work. We don't expect you and your friends to work like us. You should, but you ain't got the minerals for it. But yeah, like this is what I'm saying. Like, bro, showing appreciation is so cheap, bro. If I like you, not even love you, if I like you, I'm still gonna give you 100, percent bro. You helping me out by posting my stuff. And getting me to a place where I can be good. You see, I appreciate that. You see, with the posting situation, I think you've got two people that you need to examine for that. Because you got people that never post anything. But they might give a pass. That's yeah, not yeah, them. Yeah. They don't want to share things. That's cool. But for the people that... Be sharing share. fucking famous people stuff. Like, you yeah. Know, this person never met you in your life and you're sharing their fucking song. Exactly. Like, I've it, done man. so much for you. I've been there for yeah. you. Sport. That's ridiculous. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, That's just mad. World's crazy, cuz. But for the people that you're not a social media person, I give you a pass, man. That's cool. That's not you. Yeah, that's you, bro. You don't post. To be honest, you're living the real life. If I, I know from young, I wanted to do stuff like this. But if I didn't want to do things like this, I'd have a very private Instagram. People wouldn't know me. Sometimes I get upset that people know me. Like, when people, I see people on the street, they, they know who I am, they talk to me, it's nice. But it's very, um, what's the word? Con- contradicting maybe but not contradicting but like conflicting because one side of me I, I love the the fast life with all the social media and everything and I love creating but I'm like a I got a bit of split personality where you're you're, you're uh, I like my own side you, he goes up and down yeah I like my dopamine thing like that, that no, thing. No, I, I, I'm more in a way like I've got like two people in my head okay I've got the, I've got the Dylan that is pure TikTok and social media that loves creating and loves interacting but then I got the Dylan that doesn't want to do with anyone. Dylan just wants to. He don't want to be bothered. He just wants. But not, not yeah, not say that. Like, if you if you see me in real life, come chat to me, man. It ain't an issue. But I'm saying like, some sometimes I'm out with a lot of people. Sometimes I don't even want to talk to people. Do you know what I'm saying? But I think we all need our private time for ourselves. Do you know what I mean? To our man. Hundred percent. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, it's been real. Make sure you come back for the next one. Make sure you share it up and everything. Like, comment and share, man. Just do your thing, man. Follow our, uh, subscribe to our YouTube page and follow our TikTok page as well. Dills and tills, yeah. Dills and tills. And shout out to Sound Supreme. Shout out to Hatch Club. Shout out to the whole of South East London. Shout out to Dore. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Go on. Thank you for watching the show. Dano says all about tools and deals podcasts. Deals and tools, but yeah. Sponsored by Sound Supreme TV Hatch oh, Club. Right now, I feel like a hot dog between right, these two. Yeah? <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, boy. <laughs> the black guy in the middle. But thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. It's a Turkish Oreo. <laughs> <laughs>